How you look so perfect on your worst day? Double C it. Niggas in your DM, they be Thursday. And in person. Damn squad, it's your Snyder Diamonds here, and I'm back again with another video. This is the first time you see my face on your screen. Make sure you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button. Smash the like button, turn on the notification on so you don't miss anything I post. And last I need to be part of the diamonds, guys. Go back up right now and give this video a like. Yeah, I really don't feel good right now, but yeah, this is a pre recorded video. I am pre recording this um, the same day I um, reacted to the Dora trailer. So, um, yeah, but today I'm going to be reviewing the Mean Girls Burn Book palette now. You know, not only did I want to do a video on this already, but you know, your girl, Gons, girl, Danny, shout out to you. Like, girl, you better use this. You better start using this or whatever. But I was going to literally wait until after my birthday to do a review on this because, you know, this is my early birthday present I bought for myself. I bought myself a whole bunch of other palettes too um, in the beginning of March because I just wanted to have them already so um yeah so the other palettes i will be reviewing after my birthday i will show the other palettes too um i will show the other palettes too on on my birthday vlog so yeah so this is one of them now this is 55 dollars i got this at ulta because my ulta was selling it so yeah so but yeah this is like the last one i saw in ulta too and i was like so happy i went so early that day because i i really didn't want to wait to order it but yeah as you can see it looks just like a book and you have these shades of colors right here and some of the shade names or you know stuff that they said um in the movie um it's butter a carb cruel i don't even remember them saying that but yeah or this word right here i don't remember them saying that so fresh wednesday she doesn't even go here the plastics rena george uh moose duh i don't remember mouse duh moose duh i don't remember them saying that you can't sit with us cool mom october 3rd so yeah so and Usually, I don't like to get palettes that or too much money, but I wanted this for the longest, like, ever since, like, really long when this came out, like, when Jeffree Star reviewed it and stuff like that. That's when I wanted this palette, but I wasn't willing to spend that much money on it, so, yeah. But, anyways, I'm going to swatch a few, sa a few shades, and I'm going to be right back and show you guys. guys. So, I swatch every shade, and these look bomb, honestly, like this yellow shade right here that's called it's it's but no yeah it's butter a carb this um is soft and my bears are fighting but yeah some of the matte shades are like not soft but like it's um it feels like you kind of have a little bit of fallout like from here you know as you can see these matte shades but the matte shades are pretty pigmented judging from the swatches I love these colors like how many shades? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh shoot. Four, eight, twelve twelve shades. And I forgot to mention like the ingredients or whatever. So this does have talc and mica in it. So if you're allergic to those things, unfortunately, you can't purchase this palette. But if you don't see it at your local um, Ulta, you can always get it on Ulta's website. And they do have their own website personally called Storybooks Cosmetics. They do have like a Harry Potter type of eyeshadow palette too. <sighs> but I love the colors from this, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna dip into the white that's called uh, the plastics and I'm gonna just put that all over my lid just out of base
Now I'm gonna take You Can't Sit With Us, which is like this color. Hang on, let me turn on my ring light because y'all can't really see what I'm seeing right now. So now y'all can see the color more better. And I could too, so. As you can see, it's pretty pigmented, you know. Like, I was expecting a lot from this palette, especially from the fact that it cost $55. So far, no fallout on my eyelids. I really don't know which colors to use for the lids, like as well as the shimmers, because I really love the green and the silver and the pink colors. So I'm gonna have to make something work, you know. All right, so I'm going to use Wednesday now, and lightly go with this because this is pretty pigmented, as you can see. He's supposed to end up being like this, but it ended up being like that. But now I'm just gonna have to add some more to here to make it look the same. Right now, I'm uh, um but she doesn't even go here which is like this really dark purplish color which is she's this shade right here and i'm gonna just put that in the outer corner oh the outer corner So far, so good. I'm liking this palette. It's pretty pigmented. Um, by the way, let me see. This palette is made in the USA. I'm trying to look for how many grams I have. I don't know, but so far, so good. All right, now I'm moving on to the shimmers. And I really want to use that green and the yellow. Like, oh my god. You know, I'm not going to use the silver because I have used silver eyeshadows a lot. So, I'm going to use the green, the yellow, and the pink. So, I'm going to start off with the green. And add that right there. Now, I'm starting to get a little bit of fallout. I don't know, maybe because I did grab a lot of product with the brush. So, that could be it too, but... Here's a little bit of fallout. And this eyeshadow is a little bit more like chunkier, like kind of like a glitter chunkier. So maybe that's why it's so. Okay, I'm gonna do the same for this side now. Wait, did I take the yellow by accident? Oh my god. I think I might have took the yellow by accident. I dipped in there. I don't know. Alright, now I'm gonna go into the yellow. And do that. The yellow 
it's not as shimmery as the green color so we're just gonna move on to the pink which is called uh, marina george i make it a mess in this palette Oh my god, my eyes. There's a lot of fallout going on right now. Oh my god. Okay, let's clean this up. A lot of uh, uh. the mats though don't have any fallout, which is good. So I'm gonna just clean this up right there. But I feel the green, the green. I really like the green color, so I'm just gonna. But, I don't know, maybe because I um, took too much product, because I tend to do that. It's all over my face right now, like, literally. But, I tend to take a lot of product, so that could be why. That I have a lot of fallout going on with the green eyeshadow, so. Yeah. All right, so completed the look with this. I am going. I am going to be putting that dark pink and the purple under my eyes too, and I'm also just going to put some mascara eyeliner on the rest of my makeup on, and I'll be right back to let me let you guys know what I think about this. All right, guys. So this is the final look. So yeah, so this palette I think is worth the buy if you are willing to purchase. If you are willing to spend $55 on a palette and it's Mean Girls. Like, who doesn't love Mean Girls? You know what I mean? But I don't know if this palette would ever be on sale. So, um, the colors work great in here. Except for the shimmers. You want to kind of be careful with the shimmers because it do have fallout. So, you want to take a little bit out of time, add a little bit out of time. Or, if you want, you can take your finger and you can just dab them on it because I, I would do that too at the time. So, I did put some of the silver on my inner corners and my um, brow bone. But, this palette is a must have. If you don't have this, you should buy it. At least try it out. Um, But, you know, if you don't want to spend that much money on a palette then um there are some palettes out there that has similar shades to this but this is my first time trying out a palette from storybook cosmetics and their formula is pretty good so far so um i don't know if i would get the harry potter one which is called the wizards and witchcrafty i think it's called but i do love this palette itself like the colors in here are just great you can you can play around with this create different looks with this of course um you can also create a natural type of look with this by using this and the brown and the pink maybe or the orange you know um a sunny look so you you got a good choice of um you have a good choice of colors here so yeah i um recommend this palette i know i'm late on reviewing this oh but this sun in my eye i can't I can't figure out what, but 
I did went ahead and put it under my eyes too. Yeah, I know I normally do not put eyeshadow under my eyes because I have a difficult time doing that. But now I don't as much. So, yeah, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, These are the swatches once again of the palette. Okay, so, the as palette. I was saying, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification if you haven't. Follow me on my social media. So description box down below. And if you want to do collaboration with me, my email is in the description box. You can email me or you can DM me on Instagram. And also, um, on, yeah. So, um, oh, I keep forgetting to say in the beginning of the video. If you're not subscribed to my second channel, Life with Sanaya, make sure you subscribe to that channel. It's always in the description box as well. Um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna post on that channel, y'all, but just bear with me. I'm trying to post more gaming content on that channel and reaction videos and etc, etc. But, yeah, just bear with me. But, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.